There was a man who came to Imam al Ridha and he says to the Imam, Ya ibn Rasulullah, I've committed a lot of sins. You know, when I read a hadith like this, I think to myself, SubhanAllah, can you imagine how approachable Imam al Ridha is that someone comes to me and says, Ya ibn Rasulullah, I'm in trouble. I committed a lot of sins. And look what else he says. And I just don't have the energy to do major good deeds. So he's asking the Imam that I've messed up, I've committed every sin in the book. Just give me a shortcut, right? Give me a quick U-turn back to Allah. You know, I don't have the energy, I'm an old man. Just give me, give me the passcode. Do you know what the Imam says to him? مَنْ لَمْ يَقْدِرْ عَلَى مَا يُكَفِّرْ بِهِ ذُنُوبًا If you're not able to do good deeds, that will serve as a kafara for your sins. If you can't do anything, you don't have the energy, then at the very least, send salutations upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. Now you may ask me, you know, brothers and sisters, for a long time, I often wondered, why is salawat so powerful? You know, we have many ahadith that say, if you meet Allah on the day of judgment, and your good deeds are about the same as your evil deeds, what will tip the scales for many mu'mineen is the reward and the weight of the salawat upon Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. But the question is why? Why is salawat so powerful? Why does it have the ability? Because the Imam says, if you do that, فَإِنَّهَا تَهْدِمُ الذُّنُو Because salawat demolishes sins. The Imam uses a very powerful word, demolishes sins. The answer to this question is actually in the Quran. Some of us, we've been reciting salawat all of our lives, but we don't know why this is such a powerful action. The answer to the question is found in two verses. I need two verses to explain to you why salawat is so powerful. Number one, Surah Al-Ahzab, Surah 33, verse 56. I usually hate when people take out their phones, but if you want to follow along, you have my permission to take out your phone and look at the eye. Otherwise, I'll call you out and make it the most embarrassing moment of your life. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. The ayah from Surah Al-Ahzab, ayah 56, you're all familiar with it. إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا The first part of the ayah is a declarative statement. Without a doubt, Allah sends salutations. All of the angels send salutations upon the Prophet. Yusallun, it's constantly happening. And then there's a command at the end of the verse. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, sallu alayhi. Wa sallimu taslima. There's a command for us to send salawat upon the Prophet. Now, if you go to ayah number 43 from Surah Al-Ahzab, the same surah, Allah speaks about what happens, what is the function of salawat, what does it do? How does it play in our spirituality? What happens? Allah says, "Huwa alladhi yusalli alaykum wa malaikatuhu." And then Allah mentions the benefit, the spiritual benefit of salawat, "liyukhrijahum min al-dhulumat ila an-nur." Salawat removes darkness from the heart and puts nur in the heart. 
Because the Quran says, "Huwa alladhi yusalli alaykum wa malaikatuhu liyukhrijahum min al-dhulumati ila al-nur." Which means what? When the Prophet is receiving salawat from Allah and from the malaika at every moment, it means that at every moment the nur in the heart of Rasulullah is increasing. So how do we come into play? The ayah is essentially saying that the nur, the light in the heart of the Prophet is perpetually growing. Rasulullah at every moment he's going higher and higher because the distance between insan and Allah is infinite. And therefore, the journey is infinite towards Allah. Now, when I tell you, recite a salawat, Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah, Allah, Muhammad, wa ali Muhammad. Do you realize what you just did? You made a dua for who? You made a dua for the Prophet. You asked Allah to send salawat upon the Prophet. Rasulullah is so generous that if you make dua for him, you think he's not going to make dua for you? Every time you send salawat, Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad reciprocate by making dua for you. And they're going to ask Allah to give you what you need most. And that is what? The expiation of your sins. The expiation of your sins. 